All right, hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to install Zam server and Laravel on Windows 11. All right, now to be able to do that, first I'm going to open up my browser over here and I'm going to go to download some software. So the first one would be Zam server. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'll type in Google and then I'll do Zam. And then over here, I'm going to click on this. And uh, over here we can we get to choose what kind of version we want so we want it for Windows so I'm going to click on this and here it says that it should download it should start downloading automatically so we'll see if it does or not now after that here we'll come over here in Google one more time then here we'll say composer now I'm going to click on this and it looks like our uh, Zem server is being downloaded that's great and uh, over here we have this composer now we want to download it okay well there are many options there and we want to download this one composer setup.exe let's go ahead and do that and it's uh, also downloading so it may take a few seconds all right so these are the few things that we need to get our uh, environment set up and uh, development set up up and running all right now looks like they are both downloaded so I'm gonna first uh, come over here and I'll select yes make changes with XAMPP server so double click on that and start uh, installing all right now it's booting up over here and it's some permission related issue which will do later now here we're gonna click next next well here we are in C drive and then the set folder is not empty so uh, please select a different folder so I'm gonna click next English and uh, radio setup go ahead and it's uh, installing now since it's a big file it may take a bit of time so until that would we'll be waiting all right and over here it looks like it's done so let's go ahead and click finish now it started over here all right and this is one thing we have done and after that we need to go ahead and find our composer now we know that composer has been downloaded let's go ahead and find it and I'm gonna click on this open folder and once I do that actually uh, it would install it so I'll say install for me and I'm gonna select developer mode and then we'll click next and it's being installed over here inside the user and then it is in well, Zam PHP PHP, all right, and then we'll keep it empty and we'll go over there, and uh, well, it's relatively much faster. All right, then well, we're gonna click next, and we don't need that. Okay, here we are. We are good. All right, now our Zamp and uh, Composer being installed. Now, if we come over here, we'll see this. We have this. Uh, XAMPP control panel and one of the things we could do over here uh, config and php dot ini and inside this actually we want to look for some uh, extensions and make sure that those extensions are enabled so here we would say extension and uh, okay let's go ahead and find more extension okay well we see that our mysql extension is enabled over here and sqlite extension is enabled and let's go down and see if we need more extensions and so far we are good over here and over here we see that open ssl so we also need to enable that so we're going to remove this and i'm going to look for zip let's go ahead and find it and over here we need to enable this one as well let's go ahead and do that after that we are going to save this file and here we'll say Control s and we're going to save it and here we'll try to click on this button and start apache and looks like it started and now we're gonna go ahead and click on this one mysql and uh, it wants us to allow access we'll do that okay well after that we're gonna find our folder and inside this we'll find zamp and uh, inside zamp we are supposed to see our ht docs which is this one and inside this we should have all, everything and all the projects there 
Okay, now we can verify whether it's working or not from our browser. So over here, we're going to type in localhost, localhost, and here we are. So it means that it's alive. All right, and after that, we're going to take care of our Laravel section and how to do that. First, you need to go ahead and open up a terminal. I'm going to open up a terminal over here. And from this terminal, we need to navigate to our XAMPP server folder. Now, XAMPP server is CZAMPP and HDDocs. So we need to go there. So here we'd, we'd come over here and uh, we'll step back because our XAMPP is installed inside this uh, users folder, I guess. Uh, let me see. Not really. It's inside the C folder, not really users folder. So I'm going to go back over here and we do there. And here we do CZAMP. Now here we do CD ZAMP. And inside this, we have a lot of things. And now we want to go to CD HT docs. Now here we are. And these are the things. 